You've probably noticed the term Sigma male taking the internet by storm recently. It's become a popular topic of conversation, attracting attention for its distinct definition of masculinity. This kind of male doesn't play by society's rules, but they aren't exactly rebels either. They're in a league of their own, and people can't stop talking about them. But have you ever wondered, could you be one? Do you often find yourself straying from conventional norms, finding comfort in your own solitude, and showing a lack of interest in social hierarchies? If so, you've come to the right place. This video is your guide to understanding if you embody the qualities of a Sigma male. We're about to dive into the defining signs that might indicate that you belong to this unique and intriguing subset. So sit back, get comfortable, and join this enlightening exploration into the life and traits of the Sigma male. One of the most striking traits of a Sigma male is the comfort they find in solitude. Unlike many who feel lonely or anxious when alone, you, as a Sigma male, relish these quiet moments. Remember that time when everyone else was anxiously trying to make plans for the weekend, and you simply chose a book in a quiet corner at home? That's the kind of comfort and solitude we're talking about here. Transitioning from solitude, the next sign is about how you interact with societal norms. Number two, nonconformist. As a Sigma male, you have an inherent resistance to conforming to societal norms. Rather than following the crowd, you prefer to define your own path. Think back to that time you may have opted for a gap year to travel, or learn a new skill while everyone else jumped straight into college or job. That's your nonconformist nature shining through. You may also be the person who didn't join that trendy diet craze because, you know, you actually researched it and realized it was based on shaky pseudoscience. You realize that for diet and staying fit, it is the basics that count not some trendy fad diets, all of which come and go eventually. With that being said, let's move on from your nonconformist nature to a different aspect of your lifestyle. Number three, minimalist. A notable characteristic of a Sigma male is the minimalist lifestyle. You place value on experiences and personal growth rather than material possessions. While others are hoarding the latest fashion items, you're donating your unused clothes understanding that a minimalist lifestyle is more fulfilling than a wardrobe full of clothes you don't need. When you fly, you probably just take a carry-on bag with you. You don't even need to check luggage. You travel light and you enjoy it that way. This way, you can live in a smaller, less cluttered space while everyone else is busy showing off their new buys. That is your minimalist instinct in play. From your minimalist lifestyle, let's pivot to your view on competition. Number four, non-competitive. Interestingly, as a Sigma male, you're not interested in engaging in competition or power struggles. You're comfortable with who you are and don't feel the need to prove yourself to others. This is unlike say beta males who seek to follow or the alpha males who must always try to dominate every situation and be in total control. While everyone else is busy playing the corporate rat race, you chose a more fulfilling path not caring about titles, but contentment. Many Sigma males are self-employed entrepreneur business owners or work in certain fields where they have independence and solitude. This non-competitive spirit feeds into the next characteristic. Number five, you're an observer. Another key sign that you're a Sigma male is your tendency to observe rather than participate in social situations. You prefer to take in the surroundings and understand the dynamics before you dive in. In a world where everyone is eager to voice their unsolicited opinions, you chose to sit back, observe, and actually understand the situation before forming your view. Remember that party where you sat back, listened, and watched rather than being the life of the party? That's your observational nature in full force. Number six, logical. As a Sigma male, you tend to make decisions based on logic and reason rather than emotion. For instance, remember that time you weighed all the pros and cons before moving to a new city for work? You didn't let the fear of unknown or sentimentality cloud your judgment. That's the logical decision-making characteristic of a Sigma male. And speaking of logic and reason, let's transition to how you choose to socialize. Number seven, 
Selective Socializing As a Sigma male, you are selective about who you spend your time and energy with. For example, instead of going to that party with hundreds of people, you chose a quiet dinner with a few close friends. Or, when your colleagues at work were gossiping around the water cooler, you decided to have lunch alone instead because you understood the value of meaningful conversation. This selective socializing is typical of Sigma males. Now let's discuss a trait that may seem contradictory at first. Number eight, quiet confidence. Sigma males have an understated confidence. You don't need to prove your worth to others because you understand your value. Remember that time you stood your ground in a debate, not raising your voice, but making your points clear? That was your quiet confidence shining through. Or perhaps you were the one sitting quietly at the back of the class reunion, knowing well that you don't need to brag about your achievements to feel accomplished. From here, let's dive into how you interact with popular opinion. Number nine, you are a skeptic. As a Sigma male, you're not easily swayed by popular opinion. You form your own judgments based on your analysis and experiences. Think back to when you didn't jump on the latest trend until you had researched it thoroughly. Another time when everyone rushed to buy that popular investment that a celebrity endorsed, while you just sat back, thoroughly reviewed the details, and decided to skip the hype. The skeptical nature is a key characteristic of a Sigma male. Many Sigma males are naturally skeptical by nature. If you've noticed that you're more skeptical than most people, maybe because you're a Sigma male. Now, we'll look at another trait that's core to your nature. Number 10, you are introverted. Sigma males are typically introverted. You thrive in your own space and recharge in solitude. While others can't seem to survive without being the center of attention, you are just content being in your own world, free from trivial drama. The time you chose a weekend at home over a crowded festival, for instance, shows your introverted nature. It's no surprise that a large amount of those who are either INTJ or INTP on the Myers-Briggs 16-way personality classification, even though those are not commonly found in the general population. The INTJ, for example, is one of the most rare of the 16 types, with only a couple percent of men at max fitting into it. Yet, there is a strong crossover between INTJs and Sigma males. It doesn't mean that all INTJs are Sigmas, or vice versa. However, it just means that there's a strong correlation between the two. If you're interested in this topic, then check out the video we made on the rare INTJ Sigma male for more information. Finally, we reach a trait that forms a major part of your life goals. Number 11, self-improvement. A constant focus on self-improvement is one of the most defining characteristics of a Sigma male. You are dedicated to learning and growing, becoming a better version of yourself every day. The Sigma male knows that school is never out for the pros. They are lifelong learners. In fact, many Sigma males are probably information junkies, wanting to analyze and improve every area of their life. This should not be taken for granted, however. Many people after a certain point in their life refuse to learn or experience new things. Not the Sigma male. While everyone else is boasting about their luck and connections, you silently took another step towards improving yourself, knowing that personal growth outlasts bragging rights. Remember when you took up that online course to improve your skill set while others were binge watching TV shows? That's your commitment to self-improvement. Being a Sigma male is not about fitting into a mold, but about understanding yourself and your unique personality traits. Stay tuned for more insights as we delve deeper into this topic. Continue further with the Decoding the Sigma Male playlist by clicking the link now. I'll see you next time.